What's up guys and welcome to this week's episode of We Are The Bonsai Supply. I am Jerome and today I'm going to transform a pre-bonsai into something really cool. So I'm here at the store in Fort Lauderdale, Florida and I'm going to go through our pre-bonsai section, select a random pre-bonsai and then uh, style it. So I'm going to defoliate it, wire it and style it and I'm going to take you along the journey of how I style that tree. If you really like that tree, at the very end of the video, you can actually um, acquire this tree by participating in our online auction. But I'm going to explain a little more about that at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around and let's get to it. So today I'm going to work on this uh, pre bonsai, which is a Brazilian rain tree. So when you work on a Brazilian rain tree, there's a couple of things that you need to know. First of all, Brazilian rain tree is one of my absolute favorite species. Number two, you also need to know that there's two different types of Brazilian rain trees. One Brazilian rain tree that flutes and one that does not flute, one that stays round. So fluting is when the trunk starts to, uh, starts to flatten and starts to grow, like starts to create these channels within the trunk. So it makes the tree look very old and, and gnarly and it looks really cool, which is the more sought after one in bonsai, I, I would imagine. The round one just stays round, so the round Brazilian rain tree um, it just stays round, where the uh, one that flutes actually starts to flatten and it looks really cool. Now Brazilian rain trees, they flower, they have a white little uh, fuzzy fragrant uh, flower. So it, it looks like a little puff, almost like a uh, powder puff, but just much smaller. Um, Brazilian rain trees grow extremely fast, really fast actually. Um, you can develop a tree like this into a really nice showpiece in the tropics in a matter of just a few years. I mean, it, they grow that fast. Now, this tree, what I'm going to do to this tree today is I'm going to defoliate it. And I'm also going to cut off the thorns. If you look at this tree, it has a lot of thorns. Now, when you deal with thorns on a rain tree, it's very easy. You can just cut them in half. So I just cut off the tip, let these thorns die back. Now the thorns are just here for aesthetics on the bonsai. It's not hurting the tree if we cut it off. Uh, you can also leave it if you want to, but I like my fingers and I would like to keep my blood inside the body, so that's why I cut these off. Now Brazilian rain trees also respond really well to the foliation. So you can really, well here in the tropics we defoliate them a couple times a year. Um, if you live up north, I will start to defoliate uh, once the night temperatures stay steady. Um, you don't want to have this drop at night. So I would say if, they, if it stays above 70 degrees uh, Fahrenheit at night, then you can go ahead and defoliate the tree. All right. So another good thing to know is that Brazilian rain trees have a lot of dieback. So it's uh, good to know uh, not to always leave a little extra when you when you cut anything. So, so die back is when you have a branch and you cut it back, always leave a little extra space um, for the die back because Brazilian rain trees have quite a far die back. So that's why I would always leave a little bit. Also, Brazilian rain trees get scarred very easily with wire. So that's why when you do wire a Brazilian rain tree, you have to be on top of uh, removing the wire uh, as it starts to cut in. If you wait too long, the rain tree will never um, recover that area. So that's why it is important when you do wire, keep an eye on the wire.
wire the entire tree and I shaped it as well. And once the leaves start to fill in, um, you're gonna have a really, really nice canopy. Um, I would let the trunk thicken a little bit, so I let this uh, branch elongate and this one back here. Um, I'm gonna treat those as uh, sacrificial branches, but I'm gonna let them pull, and when they pull, the branches will start to pull and the trunk will start to thicken up. Um, but this tree is ready to go in its, uh, in its, in its uh, in a bonsai pot, actually. So I always repot Brazilian rain trees at the hottest time of the year, so in the middle of the summer. So you can put this tree right into a bonsai pot and it will start to thicken up. Just give it some good uh, free draining soil, like the uh, all-purpose soil mix that we offer, which is made out of pumice, lava rock, calcine clay, and pine bark, which will be perfect for this rain tree. All right, so it's been exactly four weeks since I did this video. And yes, this is the same tree. Doesn't it look awesome? Look at this tree. Look at how fill, fast this tree filled in just after four weeks of a complete defoliation. That's fast growth. So now let me tell you guys how you can actually acquire this tree because I know you guys have been waiting since the beginning of the video for this information. So this tree is now live on our website. It's www.thebonsaisupply.com link below in the description so make sure you go check it out and you can now auction bid on this tree it's an auction so happy bidding and good luck with the auction and hopefully this tree will be yours so catch you guys next time